ladies and gentlemen what is going on you guys welcome back to the channel for today's youtube video we're going to be playing some modern warfare 2 right here as you can see this is actually a beta gameplay you guys i want to you know upload this video they haven't uploaded yet um we're playing domination right here but uh for today's youtube video as you guys can see on the title you know i wanted to come out with a title that was like you know criticism about the new modern warfare beta and about the game um, you know, I'm often, you know, speaking positive about the game, but this game, man, I just like, I, I had to go ahead and go all out right here, man. And I came with a conclusion, man. I just, I had to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it has to, you know, improve. We had to make a change. We had to do better. And I just, I just want to slam the developers, man. I'm like, I'm so done. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you guys think about the beta? Like, what do you guys thought about the beta? Like, like, I had so many negative experience, man. Like, I was trying to upload all my positive gameplay because I'm trying to be positive. But at some point, man, it's just like, man, I had enough. And I keep seeing people doing reviews, bad reviews, good reviews. And, and I'm like, you know what? I need to be honest with the community and just, like, let them know exactly how I feel. And that's where the title came from. You know what I'm saying? Is this Call of Duty game worth it? Should you buy this Call of Duty? Don't buy it. Like, it is so many ways that I could have came out with the title because this game, like, when I first jumped into the game, the first thing that impressed me was the picture quality, the graphics, the sound, the way the weapons, you know, look. Like, this, this gameplay right here is 1080p. Obviously, you can record a 4K. When I play on my 4K TV, it looks even better than this than what this game play out right here actually looks. So the picture quality is a lot better. But man, what a crazy beta. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, you guys. Like one of the main things that you know still onto this day, we still want the developers to listen and change. And they still don't do it. And as much as I try, because I'm, I'm, to be honest with you guys, man, like I don't really have too much negative gameplays because I'm an above average gameplay. And I know a lot of people that do commentary gameplay. I'm not slamming people, but a lot of people, now I won't, I, I'm not gonna say everybody, but it's a few people that when they do commentary, they just play so bad that they get mad at the game and they want to do com ne negative commentaries. I'm not doing negative commentaries because I'm playing bad. Like I say, I am a you know an above average player. I'm a 2.0 KD player, so most of the time I get top score on the lobby. So this is that's not the issue. The issue is. The mechanics, what I see on the game, things that I like, things that I, I hate, things that are just so different from previous Call of Duty, man. And and one of the things that right now is the same. They always been the negative thing about every past few Call of Duties that we have is SBMM, you guys. Let's talk about SBMM. Oh my God! Okay, so right now we got a YouTuber, another streamer, uh, Courage. He blasts how horrible Modern Warfare 2 beta, SBMN complaints exploded. They literally exploded because it was so much going on. I mean, for the people that didn't play the beta, you guys probably don't know how sweaty the lobbies were. I mean, the lobbies were so sweaty there. Almost every match. I was actually like playing like a sweat. Like I wasn't able to just play and have fun. I was just like pushing extremely hard, man, trying to like adjust and and, and react because players were playing like, oh my God, like the game being out for months. The feedback has just centered around, you know, the mini maps, the footsteps, uh, predictable skill based matchmaking and SPMM controversial mechanics that until this day, they still are placing here so is this game really worth it you guys because at the end of the day most of the people especially streamers in youtube they're going to be playing still they're still going to be playing rebirth they're still going to be playing the old war song and the new war song coming out they are going to be playing war song more than modern warfare and one of the reasons why this game you shouldn't buy this game in my opinion is because two weeks you guys two weeks after the game come out 
they're releasing Warzone. Like, at least with Modern Warfare, the first one, they didn't release it until, what was it, like November, December? So, it, it, people was at least able to jo enjoy the multiplayer for so long. And now, it's like, I feel like they're scared. They, they, they had to... They got to be scared for, for them to release Warzone two weeks after the multiplayer. That tells me that they're not sure about how good the multiplayer is going to do. So they're trying to get at least people to buy it because most people are going to be like, oh, my God, in two weeks, Warzone is going to be out. So I want to get my weapons, you know, level up and things like that to, to be able to have, you know, good attachments and things like that once Warzone 2 come out. And SBMS controversy designed to put players into lobbies with opponents with similar skill level. And some players argue that uh, it basically allows closer matches, but other claims that it pushes good players to protect lower skill ones. So it, it's like good players get put with lower skill players in order for you to help them out, which is like it, it's very confusing. And so far with the weapons, man, the weapons actually work a lot confusing with the whole new gunsmith. I mean, it's strange how, you know, the whole meta situation is. What I'm saying is, like, if you don't use one of these metas, like the M4, the, you know, recoil, with good attachment, the recoils are pretty good. The Hurricane, you know, the MP5, you know, one of these weapons, a few of these weapons, they pretty good as far as recoil. And M down the side speed because some weapons that do have recoil, the M down the side speed is so bad, like it's so slow to aim down that it just, it's so frustrating because you losing so many gunfires trying to aim while the other enemy is aiming so quick. And it's not that they have better attachment, it's just that they're not setting up the weapon to have recoil, they're just setting the weapon to have, you know, aim down the side speed, you know, time to be so, you know, so fast. And it's like, you know, we got people like, like, like Courage, right? Like he, you know, he, he talk about the decoy over dead silence for fun, uh, throwing knives over Semtex, you know, things like that. They are just weird. Just to have fun, it's just, it's, it's, it's horrible, you know, that you just have to focus on, you know, give me things like that just to have fun. But like, what do you guys think about, you know, SBMM on this you know, Call of Duty, like, we really thought they were going to remove it, and, like, in, in Courage, this is the tweet that Courage have, right, so the streamers, the streamers um, are pretty much speaking out right now, and this is why he said, he said, it's truly a shame that I can't use anything but the most meta classes, or else I go triple negative, and in second, in the second tweet, uh, the former uh, lead caster said that nearly every stream on MW2, he has seen has players floating around 1.0 KD, suggesting that SB a man should only be rank mode. Should, should do you guys feel like that is a good idea to have SB a man is only like rank mode? Like, if you want skill based matchmaking, should you jump into rank mode and basically you will have that skill based, based matchmaking? Almost like what we have on Apex Legends. Uh, he also said nearly every stream tuned into for the M2, MW2 beta is entire lobby with a 0 0.9 to 1.1 KD. And everybody was so frustrated because their games were like, you know, the SBMM also nearly every, everyone that was said that it wouldn't mind it if they have rank associated with like Valorant, Apex, you know, it remains to be seen how Infinity War implemented the negative feedback on SBMM, but there has been a lot of suggestions that Activision rather just, they just don't care. This is what they want. As far as other things that bothered me was like the, the in, increased recoil. The movements, the movements are give me, they they a little slow. No more slide cancellation, which is kind of positive for some people. For some other people like me, I like moving fast. It's a negative. And, you know, the recoil on the weapons, you know, from a distance. I remember MW 2019 and 13, man, you can shoot from afar. Like, here it's hard to shoot for a distance. You got to be pretty much close range. But, I, you know, I want to make another video because I couldn't really get everything out on this one, man. But let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about this. I don't think you guys should buy this. What do you guys think?
But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay and this video, if y'all can do me a favor, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, you guys, if you are new to the channel, and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one.